How many of you have seen an item like this? A pump. Probably more common down in this area than it is in the heart of New York, where I come from. But in any case, I have some friends who like to hike. And my friends, Fred and Bob, were hiking in the, the southwest one time. And it was hot, and it was humid, and they were really having a hard time with it. And then they came upon a house that had a well out back. And Fred went running over to the well, and he started to pump away. And Bob said, wait a minute, wait a minute, Fred. You're not going to get anything that way. Let me take some water out of that bucket that's next to the, the, the pump, and let me just pour it in, because you've got to prime the pump. You see, if you don't put something in, you won't get something out. It's sort of like our practices, isn't it? Where if you don't put in the vision, and you don't put in the resources, and you don't put in the training, and you don't put all the extra things in the marketing that make us successful, there's really no, nothing that we're going to get out of our practices. And Fred's pumping away, and he, he's starting to get, break a sweat. And he says, well, why am I doing this, Bob? Why don't I just take some of that water out of the bucket? We can drink that for our thirst. And Bob says, Fred, that is not a good idea. Number one, that water is dirty and it's stale. That well is deep, and the water at the bottom is cool and crisp and tasty. And so it's an example of the more you put in, the better the rewards are going to be. And it's like in our practices, because when we have a case presentation that is extremely difficult and the patient finally accepts, or we have a case that's extremely difficult to perform and we finally hit that end result and the patient looks in the mirror and smiles, isn't that the most rewarding times that we have in dentistry? And then Fred's pumping away and he's getting really tired and he starts to slow down. And Bob says, oh, no, Fred, don't slow down now. You know, if you slow down at this point, all that water that you've worked to try to get up to the top of the well, it's going to go right back down to the bottom, and you will have achieved nothing. What you have to do is keep pumping away, keep pumping away, until the water starts to flow out of the pump. And then you can ease up a little bit with a little easier pressure just to keep the water flowing. And that's just like in our practices. The harder we work in the beginning to prime the pump and to do the things that are necessary to, to show the enthusiasm for what it needs to do to be successful, then once we get to that point, it's much easier to keep that momentum growing in our practices as well. And don't hold off and wait for conditions to change or things to get better. You need to be proactive. Otherwise, all your efforts will have been naught and you'll be starting right back in the beginning again. So as you go back to your practices on Monday, what I want you to do is to think about the story of the pump and think about how can you possibly apply it to what goes on in your practices each and every day.